Hello, this is Thibaut for another animation tutorial video. So today we're gonna see Beppu point entry animation. So let's see how it looks like. So I have this uh, page. Uh, let me refresh, sorry. So I have this page and when I scroll down, I have this dot or point entry animation. And I have then uh, an animation on a picture and on a text and on the underline. So let's do it again. So I'm scrolling down. So with the dot on tree, you can see that we can see the web animation title. And then it's taking the full section uh, space and we can move on to the next section. So once again, oh, we can see the text, then taking the full section and the other animations. So let's see how it's done in bricks. So, um, so I have three sections. The first one and the last one uh, let's say kind of dummy section. The first one is for starting to have a scrolling part to, to be able to scroll. Then I have my section where I have the dot or the circle or the, not a circle, but the, the, um, the points with a different lighter uh, green color. Then I have my container which contains the text part and the image one and then i have my section with my text with uh, the different background the lighter green so it can give an effect when the dot is expanding to the full section that there is a smooth transition between the second and the third section in terms of color so uh, on my circle, uh, this one is a bit uh, not tricky, but there were the, this is where the let's say the difficulty comes from. You can see that I'm using Vmax and why 283 Vmax. First, the Vmax is the um, uh, it for the calculation it will take the the maximum length between the uh, viewport height and width so if the viewport width is higher than the height it will take 100 percent of the the uh, um, viewport width if the height is higher than the width so for instance on on mobile portrait then it will take into account the uh height and not the width and why 283 uh, I found on the GZAP forum that uh, this is a kind of magic number um, 283 will cover uh, the full section so because if you take a smaller amount it won't cover the full section like if you take 260 Vmax it should not cover everything. 283 is the minimum. I, I, I can show, but it's. Um, I can give the link, but it's on the. It's a bit hard to understand. Me, I, 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 I don't fully get it because it's mathematics. <laughs> and uh, basically, I just keep the conclusion that 283 should be able to cover the full section. If you expand the the the, the dot or the um, the point, um, and so I'm positioning it, positioning it absolute. So I'm pushing it on the left, so it's completely touching the uh, right part, and I'm pu I'm positioning on at fifty percent from the top. Of course, I'm doing a transform to make it 
um, centered. So translate why? Because I put uh, 50% and need to reduce its height by 50%. So it's completely centered. And you're going to ask me why you're putting 52%. It's just because my I did a clip path and the eight or let's say the the remaining parts of this uh, uh, circle is only two percent so for instance you look on the screen but if I do three you see that it's over on the left left right side so to compensate I'm going back to my transform and I'm doing minus 53. You see that it's now it's touching perfectly the, the right part. But I want 2%, so let me put back my 2%. And I put a variable because I can animate this variable then in a motion page with gzap. So the text, the one important thing to um, take into account is that the text is um, the color is the same color as the background so you won't be able to see it when it's on green on green if, you, if I change the color you can see the color but I'm putting the same uh, as the color background. Why? Is to make it invisible and then with my um, circle I'm using a mixed blend mode. So I'm using the lighten. So it will make the text completely uh, it will exclude the light and will make it completely dark. So that's giving the um, this impression of um how can i put that that's the, the there is a hole it's not a, a a a point or a dot it's more a hole because you can see the text be behind maybe it's quick but then thanks to the mix blend mode uh i was able to to achieve this f quite interesting effect um so lighten so my i put a uh, an underline so i put six pixel but i um put no width i will increase the 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 width within gzap to make it be uh, growing and then the under subheading is also uh, typography you see the color be same as the background se section background okay then my image also to, to I put uh, an isolation because if I don't put isolate the picture color will change and uh, same for the um, uh, text I just want the text to be impacted not the rest so I uh, put an isolate as well and also I put a, a hidden important because there will be this uh, split text effect and uh, I need to, to, to be sure that the overflow is uh, present, is, is happening. Mm -hmm. uh, for the rest, um, did I, I think that's it for okay then in motion page so I have so the circle so first it's a scroll trigger 
and I'm pinning the element so um, the section gets stuck during the animation that is following. So I'm pinning the section from zero top to 100% bottom, from bottom minus 100%, sorry. And what I'm doing is um, translating by minus 50%. So why not 100%? Because if you remember, the full size of the um, dot is 283. It's not the small dot that you are seeing. So, but just doing minus 50%, it's enough to make it disappearing from the screen. So, there is the entry. And then I'm putting a bounce effect. So, it's kind of bumping and bouncing, sorry to the right part of the screen, give this effect. Then on the circle, I'm animating. If you remember, I put a variable of 2%. I'm changing this 2% to 100%. So it gets back to the size of 283 Vmax. So the circle is growing. And then we can see back the uh, title. Then I starting the animation on the uh, image wrapper. The image wrapper is a bit complex one, so I'm using um, opacity from zero. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, let me drink. Then a translate Y of 300 pixel, a scale of zero and a rotation of 16 degree. And also a clip path. I'm pushing uh, the top, top and uh, left to the opposite. So it gives this kind of growing in the diagonal. If you can see, so that we can see the, the opacity, the scale, the rotation, and the clip path. But also I'm animating the image to scale from 1.3. So giving this zoom out effect at the end of the image wrapper uh, animation. And then I have my underline animation together with the split text. Not sure why we can't see it in, uh, <coughs> sorry, in motion page. But if we look on the front, So we can see the text, the dot is growing, there is a picture effect, the underline, and then <coughs> <coughs> sorry for this. The subtext the subtitle effect with a split text. The split text is so the first the underline I'm using a clip path. So I'm pushing the left side to the max. So when it's uh, going to the original position, so the, le the inset will go 0% on the left. So it's growing from the right. I know it's a hard concept, but th the way it works. And the subtitle. Sorry, sorry. Um, so I'm splitting text by words, stagger each by 0 0.1 from the start. 
Um, and a rotation of 20 degree and a translate of 100%. So 100% is, if you remember, I put the div overflow hidden so it will get out of the uh, screen because it's hidden by the div overflow, hidden. And when, sorry, let's do it again. So if you look at this part, you see it's coming from the bottom, uh, word by word. So it was uh, today was a bit long video. I hope um, you enjoy and see you at another one.